Hey, what's up? This is Alicia. This is my first video blog. Um, I guess I'm, I guess I don't really know what you're supposed to do in a video blog because I could sit here and tell you about my life all day and it really, 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 really doesn't serve a purpose. But the first thing I do want to talk about is being able to have the freedom to be yourself. Does that make sense? Having the freedom to be yourself. My personal opinion and my personal experiences, I noticed that a lot of people within your inner circle, such as family, you know, grandparents, mothers, fathers, they have so much to say when it comes down to, let's just talk about relationships with them. Like, they have so much to say when it comes down to your relationships. And it's understandable that they want to see you happy and, you know, make sure you have, like, the right people in your life. But at the same time, they, it's like they don't want you to live your life. And then you have parents that are, like, not so much as, like, not caring, but they don't really, you don't really play a role of a parent. They're either caught up in their job, some of them might be addicts of some sort, or some of them just, you know, caught up trying to do them, and they don't really have time for you. But my thing is, like, as far as relationships goes, I just feel like, they should be a little more open to the time frame in which that we've come up in. Because it's completely different, but at the same time, it's not different. So, like, some of that advice would make sense. Some of it won't. And I, it's just like, with me, I feel like sometimes, I love my grandmother death, but, because that's who I live with, sometimes she gets upset when my opinions differ from hers when it comes down to God. So, I got to the point where I don't even tell her about dudes that I deal with. I don't really, the only thing I talk to her about is, like, my friends, my female friends. And I don't have a lot of them, so if we discuss anything, we talk about politics or bills or something like that. We don't really talk about guys. Now, she has been around the block. She had her share dudes. So I'm sure her advice would, you know, suffice somebody. But it's just like with her, you can't, you, your opinion cannot differ from hers, it seems like to me. And somebody I'm related to probably is going to see this and probably goes back and tell what I said. But I didn't already told her that. So you can, it's a waste of time, boo-boo. Doing that is a waste of time. But that's besides the point. But, you know, I guess if you sit down and talk to them, maybe it'll work. Depending on how your parent is. If they're really understanding. If they're not understanding, then you know what? For real, I wouldn't discuss nothing with them. And when they ask you, like, how come you don't include us in your world, you just say, well, the reason why I don't include you is because you find a problem in everything I do, everybody I talk to, every situation that I find myself in, you have a problem with it, so there's no point in my talking to you about it. Just forget it. You don't want to be a part of my world when I wanted you there, so now I don't want you there, and now you want to be a part of it. Fuck you. I ain't got no time for you. You can't let stuff... Just... My advice to you is just don't let people stress you. Because this is your life, and you have to live it. And stress can mess you up physically and mentally. I didn't have, like, 80 nervous breakdowns or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, I I know a little bit about stress and what it'll do to you. And at the end of the day, when you lay your head on your pillow, it's not worth it. So, I guess this is more or less like an advice column instead of a blog thing. So... If you guys ever need any help, just send me a question, and I'll answer it or whatever to the best of my ability, and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay? Deuces.